Hi guys, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, I want to showcase for you the Hello December Project Life Kit that is going to be part of the online extravaganza beginning November 21st. What I've done with the, on, um, with the Hello December Kit and what you're going to see today is two traditional Project Life pages. Project Life is technically designed to be what we call a pocket style scrapbooking where you can just drop your photos in a couple of the little cards and go inside of pockets like you see here. And we have a 6x8 size and we have a 12x12 12 um, 12 size. But what I've done is some traditional pages. I love how Project Life works very quickly and easily because of the square and rectangle sizes of them on a traditional page. It just makes kind of a really nice graphic geometrical layout. And so I've got two pages for you. One we're going to make from start to finish so you can see how it all goes together. And then the other one I'll just show you a finished one with a shameless plug. So for this one what we're using is Whisper White cardstock and we have Emerald Envy. The Emerald Envy is part of the assorted pack of 12 by 12 cardstock. And currently in the holiday catalog we have some 12 by 12 cardstock that you're going to want to get your hands on. The 12x12 12 12 red is sold as a single pack, and you're going to want that for all of your holiday and Valentine's scrapbooking. And then we have a, a pack of cherry cobbler and garden green, which will also be perfect for your Valentine's and Christmas scrapbooking. And then we have a pack of pumpkin pie and black 12x12. 12 12. So again, if you're a scrapbooker, you want to make sure that you um, stock up on those things. So... Here's the finished page. This is what it looks like so that you can see it. These are all elements from Project Life. And then I've got some photos from Kristen and Greg's first Christmas together as, as brother and sister. These photos are actually from 1991. So yes, I'm like everybody else in the world. I'm still playing catch up on my Project Life. So the tools that you need. You need your 12 by 12 paper. You need your trimmer. And Stampin' Up's trimmer is an amazing um, absolute bonus for scrapbooking because of its extendable arm that allows you to actually go all the way out to 12 inches. So starting with that first, let's go ahead and we're going to take our Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to cut it down to 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. So I've taken a half inch off this side. And we're going to just rotate it once, and we'll take a half inch off to this side. In addition um, to being able to cut big sizes, you're going to want a trimmer when you're doing scrapbooking to cut your photos down, whether you're trimming them down for pockets or whether you're going to trim them down like I'm going to show you in just a minute. So we're going to set that aside for just a second. And let me just line this up so it's in front of me. So what I have here is our... Whisper White, and that is sold in the annual catalog, and it's bordered a little bit by red the whole way around. Now, I love this paper piercing tool for picking things up, for opening cellophane packaging. For me, you know, there's a couple of tools that I'm like, I can't live without, and paper piercing tool is one of them. You're also going to see how we used it for letters. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do, and I'll tell you about while I'm opening all this cellophane, is that you're going to want to make sure that you stay tuned for everything else that I made with the elements. You're going to want to see the really cool... 12 day, uh, 31 days of December banner that I made with some ideas for what you can put in the little pockets because there are cards here to count down the 31 days of December and you also have some blank on the back if you don't want to do the countdown so you're going to want to see that video. There are 4 by 3 cards in the pack and they are double sided so you've got different images on both sides and we'll go through them in a minute while I when I look for the piece that I want. And then you've got six by six pieces as part of the kit. And this is the one that I used to put all of the words on. And then you've got some great ones. You're also going to want to see the 23 holiday cards that I made with that. So you're going to definitely want to make sure that you're subscribing to my channel or checking out my playlist so that you can find out some more about these Project Life. And again, they're all double-sided. One of the other things that I have that I used with this is the accessory pack. And I love the accessory packs. They do come with a little stamp set, a little photopolymer stamp set, and I like to store that right inside of the bag so that you don't lose it. This kit also happens to have these little metal tags, and it has some silver thread. I didn't use any of those on this page, but it is what we used right here. Those little metal tags are adorable. It has some washi tape. There are little 2x2 two two cards. These are perfect for tags. Or you're also going to see, again, how I use them on cards and things like that. I used a couple of them on this project, 
But here are these cute little two by twos. So we've got the mistletoe, merry and bright. I'm looking for something that's red because these other ones are green. So we've got this one. We've got a Christmas tree. We can do the Christmas tree one. It kind of matches. So I'm just kind of, as I'm going through them and showing them to you here, I'm just kind of looking to see what's over here to coordinate just a little bit. I'm going to lay, let's lay these little guys out for now. And peace on earth. So you've got these different images. And some of them have the nice silver foil on them. So let's lay this image out as well. So we have that. So those are the two by two in the kit. In addition, you have these sweet little wood elements if you wanted to use them. You can color these with markers, with spritzers, by smushing them into ink pads. So you've got those elements. You've got these amazing, wonderful stars that you can go ahead and add as embellishments to your page. You have the silver foil numbers to do the countdown that I mentioned. You've got it all the way through the 31st. And a lot of people use Hello December as a countdown. They do a day, of, a page a day during the month of December. But you can also do great advent boxes and wreaths and things like that. So you've got those numbers. You've got some fun elements here that I've used on tags and some of the projects I didn't use any of them on the card here so you've got these elements and then these letters here are what I used let me pull this page back in here for a second see where it says eat DIY shop wrap music family I just kinda listed some of our traditions and with the paper piercing tool these are easy to pick up and then easy to place on that card and they are self adhesive label letters so the paper piercing tool is going to be an invaluable tool for you for picking those up and lettering so you have those you've got some great foil pieces here so these are wonderful and they make great overlays over top of photos and the photos can peek through one of the other projects that you're going to see is I did a really fun um, shaker frame so I found this little uh, snow globe is a better definition for it and then there's some green lettering just like that so now let's um, pull, I'm going to pull this piece back in. We're going to use that because I want to show you something fun with that. Um, holiday magic. We'll hang on to that one for just a second. We might use that. And um, okay, let's do that. And let's look at a whole bunch of little ones here. Let's see what we have. So we have Oh Christmas Tree. We have um, Family Festivities. So we've got some that are with the craft background and the color combinations are real red and emerald envy, so very traditional colors. Here you could make a little note about some family traditions and things like that. Christmas festivities, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I like this Oh What's Fun one, so we'll pull that one in. And this kind of ties in with everything else. This red one has an opening for a photo. Um, let's hang on to the joy for right now. I like the big words on that. Less journaling. Although journaling is a very important aspect of what you do. So there's another blank one. I like that one. So you can just see all the different ones and they are double sided again. So I've got a few of them to get us started. And let's put these all up out of the way. And let's bring in my photos that I have. And again, I mentioned that um, these are from the kids' very first Christmas together. This was in 1991. Greg was born in February of that year. And one of the things that I'm finding about Project Life is that Project Life is actually perfect for your old photos. Because way back when, we didn't seem to have all of the great photography skills that we have now. And so a lot of times we didn't zoom in on it. And so there's a lot of times what I'm finding is dead space around my photos just because of the photography skills that we had there. And so, again, it makes it really easy to go, yeah, we're cutting that out. That's a goner. And so that's where having your trimming tool is going to come in handy. These cards are three by four. And what I usually do is I cut my photos down in such a way that, you know, and sometimes you just have to kind of chip away till they sit on here the way that I want them to sit. So um, let's do our cutting tool because I do want to save the tree but I want to get rid of this pink carpet that's part of it and I really want the kids more than and I want to bring the kids more into focus so let's cut this down to three and a quarter for just a second and so we've got this happening and let's take a little bit more so we're gonna make it two we're gonna make it two and a quarter like this and I had one here a minute ago so now you can see where I can layer this onto here. I can also layer it onto something like that, and I like that one. So that's a good start for us. So we've got that piece going on. Now we also have the kids here in the paper wrapping. 
And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take and we're going to cut it down. And let's make this one two and three quarters. That's about the right size. And I don't want to cut Kristen's head off here. And let's come down here. Let's try three and a half and see if that's going to work the way I'm envisioning it. So on this one it says, oh, oh, what fun. So it needs to be a little more narrow. So again, like I said, you're just going to kind of cut down as you work with these back and forth just a little bit. Um, and that's where having this little trimmer comes in handy. And then you can just kind of gradually snip away. I could have also gotten a ruler out. Now it's still not going to work the way I want it to. So we'll go ahead and we'll just grab the next one. So that one will go on there. And again, you're just going to kind of pick and choose your photos. Now remember before I said about using this one, it's got a nice red border around it. So what would happen? I happen to know that that's four by six. So let's make this a little bit smaller than four inches. We're going to make it three and three quarters. And let me just put that back on there. I didn't cut hard enough. There we go. And I said six inches. So we want to get rid of we we'll make it five and three quarters. So now I can use that four by six piece as a mat. And what I mean by geometrical and this making it so easy to lay out, we won't finish here and bore you with all of the details. I'll make sure to finish and give you a, uh, an update on the page. So now I've got these square layout pieces and I can just start to position them in ways that I think are fun and attractive. I can go ahead and you know add a third piece across. And this is where those two by two pieces can also kind of come in and be kind of fun. So now I can start to add some other elements like that around it if I wanted to. And I just kind of like to space these so that they all fit in. I can put a journaling piece. I could also take if I wanted and cut a piece right out of here with Making Spirits Bright. But I'll put another small photo in there. But again, you can see how because of the rectangular shape of these and the square shape of these, it makes it easy to build up a traditional scrapbook page with them. So this is our Hello December kit. It does go on sale on um, the 21st, so you're going to want to be watching for that on my blog, RemarkablyCreated.com. And I told you I had one more page with a shameless plug. So here's a great one. Um, I went and sat on Santa's lap last year, and um, lo and behold, I told Santa what my top five gifts are suggestions are for the holidays and if you are a customer watching this my number one suggestion for a holiday gift from Stampin Up is our demonstrator kit and you definitely want to consider that during the sale because you could save an additional 20 percent on top of the 10 to 40 percent savings during that sale and then of course you'll be part of my team and then you'll also be able to save 20 percent beginning December 1st on the spring catalog my second pick for a holiday gift for you would be the paper pumpkin 12 month subscription Another one would be a $150 gift card from someone who really loves you. That way, when you redeem it in January, you'll get three celebration items. The next one is the Big Shot. I don't know how I live without the Big Shot. And then my fifth top pick would be the large letters and numbers because, of course, I want it all. But again, you can see how I was able to take, and this is a 4 by 6 and cut it down. I just, you know, used the background here, matted it a little bit, added another photo to the big one. So Project Life is perfect for your traditional scrapbooking, guys. If you have questions about anything that I mentioned, if you want to follow up on the top five gifts that I mentioned, if you want to make sure that you get information on the sale, if you visit me at RemarkablyCreated.com, you will find a shopping list, you'll find a PDF of the sale, you'll find ways that I can help you with um, shipping and all kinds of good stuff like that. So I look forward to sharing more holiday memories with you guys in the coming weeks and I look forward to helping you maximize the sale this week. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.